Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a senior here at Middlebury majoring in religion and English. And today I'm going to show you around our beautiful Middlebury campus. Right now, we're outside the Davis Family Library. Our three level library opens 7.30 to midnight and the hub of student life. The library also boasts a technology help desk for any tech issues you might have with your Mac or PC. There's also the Center for Teaching, Learning and Research, a free resource for students who need tutoring or additional academic support. And this is the Axon Center for the Humanities. It's one of our newest buildings on campus and very modern but it was actually constructed around the old Star Library, so there's quite a bit of history here. Students love to study here, in the historic reading room, and if not here, right next door, in the Abernathy room. Axon is where you'll find the film and media culture, history, English and American literature, and American studies departments. I actually took a class here last semester, and the professor asked us to specifically not write a paper, and instead use the resources and the tech in the building to either make a podcast, or make a video, or make something completely brand new. This is McCullough Student Center, one of the most pivotal parts of the Middlebury experience. This is the place for students to congregate, de-stress, play some games, have some food, and just enjoy their time at Middlebury. McCullough is home to Wilson Hall to my right, our performance space. It's also home to our mail center, our bookstore, our convenience store, and two retail dining options for students. This is Hillcrest, home of the Franklin Environmental Center. We are very proud that Middlebury happens to have the oldest environmental studies program in the country. Students can engage in environmentalism through hands-on work with local organizations or at the Knoll, our community garden that contributes to the campus dining halls. This is the Mahaney Arts Center, or the MAC, home to the music, dance, theater, and art history departments. If you're looking for a show, this is the place to be. Here you can find our black box theater and our dance studio, as well as our concert hall, a great place to catch a TEDx Middlebury talk or one of our public speaking courses. We're in one of the quietest spots on campus, the Middlebury College Museum of Art. It's completely free for Middlebury students and community members. This is the Peterson Family Athletic Complex. We're a very active community, and we're very proud to be part of the NESCAC, the New England Small College Athletic Conference. We have 31 varsity sports and a handful of club sports, including soccer, rugby, and even Quidditch. All Middlebury College students have access to our facilities, including the field house, as well as a squash court, Olympic-sized pool, multi-level fitness center, and gym. If you're looking for something more outdoors, there's also the TAM, the trail around Middlebury, a 19-mile trail that surrounds the town and neighboring vicinity. I have to head to class, but here's my friend Coco, and he'll finish the tour. Thanks, Paul. My name is Coco Grusin. I'm a sophomore majoring in Japanese studies, and I'll be your tour guide for the rest of the day. Let's head to the chateau. Welcome to the chateau, home to the French department at Middlebury. Like many buildings on campus, the chateau serves as both a residential and academic building. I actually have class in the Chateau every Tuesday and Thursday for my Japanese class. Middlebury is known to have one of the strongest language departments in the U.S., offering 10 foreign languages throughout the calendar year. This is Bai Hall, home to our science departments. Some popular majors include biochemistry, neuroscience, molecular biology, and geography. Students foster strong relationships with their professors through lab and research, publication opportunities, and hands-on work. To my right, we have Ross Dining Hall, one of three dining halls on campus. Our open dining plan gives students unlimited swipes and tons of flexibility with our busy schedules. They serve a diverse range of food that can meet any dietary needs. Over at Proctor, we have the language tables where students order and converse in a foreign language. It's a great opportunity to immerse yourself and get some real life practice. Behind me is the Anderson Freeman Center, home to the Middlebury Intercultural Leadership Coalition, which includes BSU, Alianza, 
Mixed Kids Amid, and other affinity organizations. The AFC is also home to First Bend Mid, a pre-orientation for students first in their family to go to college. This building also houses the PRISM Center, a space that centers queer and trans students through advocacy. Now, it is important to remember, going to school in Vermont means living through all the seasons. First, we have the beautiful fall foliage. Then, we get all the snow which we take advantage of here at the Snow Bowl. Just a short drive from campus, the Snow Bowl is one of only two college-owned ski areas in the U.S. I might be biased, but ours is definitely the best. Middlebury makes sure the outdoors are accessible for everyone. Snow Bowl tickets are free for first years, and you can borrow top-notch equipment from the gear room on campus. If you've never skied before, you can also take ski lessons during J-Term. We have reached the end of the tour. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you soon.